Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Hagen back with another video for you and today we're going to be looking at the uh, sort of highly anticipated, awaited, however you want to put it, MSI GTX 480 Lightning. Um, that's quite a big deal because this is the only one in the UK and yeah, I've, I've got it first. I know a lot of you are kind of getting used to that but I do put a lot of work into trying to secure these kind of uh, components early exclusives all that kind of stuff and this is an exclusive in the UK because like I said this is the only one and I'm the only one that's got it at the moment um, basically MSI have become quite famed for taking the higher end cards uh, like they did the 5870 Lightning they did a 285 Lightning basically packing it out with all military grade components which is another thing they're famed for um, they rework the PCB, they do what they want to it, they add their twin frozer um, cooler to the cards uh, and basically make it about as high in overclocking as a, you know, as a mainstream graphics card can get and by mainstream I mean the fact that you can just order it and buy it and it comes and, do you know what I mean, there's generally a lot more features on there than you'll get with any of the other ones. Um, now I was a bit kind of like I wasn't sure what to expect because the GTX 480, yes, it, do you know what I mean, is a very, very powerful card, but it's just too hot, do you know what I mean, the cooler on it was too loud, um, and it, yeah, it draw t drew too much power, do you know what I mean, so it was just one of those ones that, even though it was good, it was just, it was so bad as well. Main thing being heat, and I did wonder whether MSI would be able to, you know what I mean, really tame that heat. Um, but as I said, it's running uh, Vantage by the time we know it's on auto, and the fans have gone up and down a little bit. But do you know what I mean? I've got the Noctuas on, and this is running, and it's still really quiet. You're probably hearing my main rig behind the camera more than you are this. It's absolutely silent. Uh, although this isn't overclocked at the moment, I'm running this at stock, um, the temperatures are hardly going, you know, sort of they're hitting about 74, 75 degrees. Um, with it on auto, the fans are hardly spinning up at all. Um, this twin frozen cooler on this is absolutely brilliant. Now what I'm going to do, just quickly, because I've already made a video of when I took the card apart, so I'm just going to uh, cut in and show you the actual card in bits now quickly so you can see this cooler. Right then lads and lasses, uh, basically uh, I'm actually filming this before I've done the main video because I'm just doing the uh, photos for the uh, main review and while I've got all the cooler and everything dismantled I just wanted to give you a quick look round so that you can see the PCB on the 480 Lightning here you can see all the extra PCB that they've uh, brought in to allow them to squeeze more on. Well, not squeeze it because there's a lot more PCB. But you can see how clear around the actual socket itself the actual GPU is from components and then all the business end, all the power, it's all crammed up one end. I mean, look at all those power reg regulators there. So much power delivery going into that. That little switch there is a BIOS switch, but there's actually no mention of that in the manual, and it's actually in the correct position. So I don't know whether that's going to be something for extreme clockers. That's the pickups, so you can do your voltage monitoring. If I just turn the board over quick, you can see the back. And there is actually, if we wait for the camera to focus, see the orange thing there? There's some more at the top, there's dip switches as well. Again, not mentioned in the uh, manual. Now, I don't know whether this is because this is a uh, press sample. This is actually the only one in the UK as I'm probably going to mention in the main video. So I don't know whether this is going to be on the retail samples or not, or whether it is just there for the extreme overclockers to play with. If I move that out of the way, just to show you the back of the main cooler which you never normally would see we go in there you can see there's five massive heat pipes 
going on different sides of the card. And if I turn it over, that's, you know I mean? that's the business end, that, well that's the bit that you'd normally see. But, but there's the back. There is also, for the RAM if I bring it in, a RAM and MOSFET cooling plate as well. And this goes over the front of the main card. I'll just show you quickly. I'm trying to do this all with one hand. But that sits over that like that. So there you go. The guts of the GTX 480 Lightning. Right, so you've seen the cooler, and to be quite honest with you, simple, effective, does the job. Those heat pipes do get really hot, the card still does get warm, but it's just the fact that it's not loud, do you know what I mean? You've not got a bloody a barbecue on the, or a griddle pan on the top of your graphics card. It's, I really don't understand, because a lot of people go, oh you're an anti-ATI fanboy. I'm not an ATI fanboy, because Nvidia make, do you know what I mean? The 460, which, do you know what I mean, is one of the best sort of mid-range graphics cards about at the moment. And I say at the moment because it's a big day tomorrow. Um, as in tomorrow being the 22nd. Um, but yeah, so NVIDIA can make some brilliant cards. My first graphics card was an 8800 GT and I loved it. But at the moment, they can't, do you know what I mean, they, they make more failures than they do make anything correctly. Um, and it... You can quote me on this as well. It took a company like MSI to fix the fuck ups of a multi billion dollar comp corporation like Nvidia just to make a decent cooler. I mean, they had six months that they kept delaying it. Do you know what I mean? And I keep saying, do you know what I mean? I apologise. But they had six months where they were kept delaying the cards. Surely someone around there should have taken their thumb out of their ass and made a better cooler. And at MSI have done it and made a new PCB and done everything. If the GTX 480 came out like this at launch, I would have said it was brilliant because my biggest gripe is the fact that the standard cooler was crap. And it was crap. But this, do you know what I mean? It solves all the problems. Now, uh, right, out of the box, uh, 3D Mark, you're looking at between 23 and 24,000 3D Marks. Easy peasy, PMO, all auto, with a 4 gigahertz i7950. Overclocking, what's it like? Absolutely bonkers. Um, I had a look on HWBot earlier, and every card in the top 10 is under 900 megahertz core, sort of like 860, sort of like, like that kind of target. Literally, within 15 minutes of me trying to overclock this card, I had it at 900 core stable. And the only reason why I couldn't get it to go any further is there is a PWM frequency tool for the Lightning. So you can play around with the frequencies on it, be able to overclock it better. But sadly, the version of it that came on the disc that I've got doesn't like Windows 7 and I couldn't get it to run with any of the compatibility modes or anything like that. And uh, MSI haven't been able to get me a version of it in time that's fixed. So it's just an oversight by them. This, do you know what I mean? It's, it's in a retail box, but the disc wasn't retail. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's going to get fixed. But I, do you know what I mean? I've pretty much overclocked it with just voltage um, and just moved in all the dials. Hence the reason why it took me so, you know, it was so easy. Um, I honestly reckon there's probably a bit more left than this yet because it was booted into Windows at 955, and it was getting pretty much right the way through uh, Vantage as well. Uh, it was just like on one of the end ones, it was just, you know, crapping out basically. Um, so I reckon with a bit of tweaking, I mean 50 megahertz, it was just, I couldn't get it stable above 900. Um, although I could get it to get to this one bit on Vantage. So if it was still doing it at 950, I reckon there's got to be a little bit more in it. Uh, it, it might need a little bit more cold, do you know what I mean, if there was uh, you overclockers out there were looking at freezing this and stuff, I reckon you'd probably get a gigahertz out of this in the core easily if you were freezing this, probably a bit more. Um, so yeah, there's so much in this, it's, it's daft. 
Uh, now, I am going to show you some game footage and uh, sort of like uh, screenshots of the benchmarks in a second video. So make sure you come back to have a look at that. This was just me talking about the card and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, now I'm going to give you a quick look at the card in one piece because you've only seen it in bits so far. Uh, and we'll have a look around it while it's still running Vantage behind me. Right then guys, it is still running Vantage by the side of me there. I'll come down to give you a... Uh, the fans have just gone up a kick there, bringing you right in so you can hear it. Still on the shade of runs. There you go, you can see it's just finished. 24142, that's actually one of the better stock runs I've ever had. And then if we come over to the temperatures, look at GPU core. And video GTX 480 go along 35 minimum, which is the idle, 74 maximum, and it's coming down from 55 degrees there now. So, they, and to be quite honest with you, I really, really like the look at this as well. You can see the much bigger PCB there. Two, eight, and a six pin. It is rather massive as well, because if you have a look, there's my Rampage 2 Extreme. It's sticking out a good bit down the side as well. But don't start sending me messages. But he, you know, will it fit in this? Will it fit in that? Yes, of course it will. Unless you've got a tiny case, you'll be fine. But if I come down, I'm just going to put the camera here. Hopefully, so that the camera will pick up the fans. Because they really are not loud at all. <laughs> 